Back in 2003, I was involved in a pretty aggressive study abroad program with uh, the United States Army in Baghdad, Iraq. It didn't go well. <laughs> pleasure of introducing our five comedy warriors. They'll be teamed up with nationally known comedians and comedy writers who will mentor them in crafting a short stand-up routine leading up to a live performance. It's a stand-up workshop, in essence, which is a really fast-track way to learn how to do stand-up. Always think, what are they thinking? And be the guy that has the boss to say it. I told my wife before I left to Iraq, I said, honey, if I don't come home in one piece, I want you to go on without me. Luckily, her and her new husband let me rent out the garage. <laughs> <laughs> I know that there's some dark, dark hours that these gentlemen have spent, and to find a funny way of telling that to the audience is a real art form. I think comedy is a good therapy on just the level of therapy. Everybody inside that little room in there is expecting to laugh when you talk. That's a lot of pressure. You know, you realize if he steals jokes, he is a one-armed bandit. The only way to find out what you are capable of is to try and do something that you want to do. I can now kind of laugh at things that used to just make me cry. And of course you're going to ask when you're the sole survivor, why me? I want to not let the guys down that didn't make it. All right, next comic, one of the stage guys, your first comedy warrior of the night. Thank you very much. <laughs>